Hi, this is going. This is going in a, a mashup to start my vlog. Um, I decided to pick up my vlog camera today. I'm about to blow dry my hair in my like wavy style that I do. Um, and so I figured I would show you how I do that because some days it's like more natural and I just let it air dry. Um, but today I'm feeling like using my diffuser and kind of enhancing my waves a little bit more. Just really walk you through the whole process. I've been getting a lot of questions, so let me get my stuff. <laughs> this is my hair a little bit. I haven't touched it, haven't brushed it, nothing after the shower. I use three-ish products if I am going for a diffused look. Kristen has sea salt air dry mousse, but I don't use it for air drying. So if I use too much, it makes it a little crunchy. I just use it sparingly if I am going to blow dry it. So that's my last step. My first step, because I have finer hair and I like my bangs to look a little bit thicker, I go in with the Redken Bruise um, Instant Thickening Spray. I don't know if they still make this. Just spray it. My sprayer's broken. I'm gonna spray a little bit in my hands. And then just gonna run it through. Now for shine, um, and it's a heat protectant, but I like it because it literally, I think it changes how shiny my hair looks. I really do. It's the Verb Extra Hydration and Glossy Shine Heat Protectant. Spray that all over. I'm almost out of it, but. I'm gonna go in with this, two little squirts. Distribute it in between my fingers and kind of just do this. Fun part, I actually, I take my, I found this attachment on uh, Amazon for the, uh, what is this called? The Dyson Airwrap. And it works very nicely. It does get very hot, but I guess all the tools do. Um, but I don't know, Dyson might make one, but this one was like cheaper on Amazon. Probably not what the Dyson one would have been, but I'll link it in case you do have one. Um, but I just take any diffuser. It would literally work with any diffuser. And I literally just blow dry, diffuse my hair. Again, I don't brush it. If I am going for this style, I normally try to brush my hair before the shower. So that's what I did today. And this is what it looks like before. I just kind of have like a loose wave naturally. And when I'm going for my roots, I kind of lift them up a little bit with my hand and then I press this onto them to kind of give them a little bit extra volume, I guess. <laughs> better here this is kind of what it looks like right now it looks a little stringy whatever and then I just kind of push that aside and then I do the other side again I don't know if any of this is right if you have any tips for your hairstylist whatever it is other than only going like this and like this I think kind of scrunching and then adding it kind of helps a little bit with more uniform um, look now I go into my bangs which that is like the most important part to me I feel like that's what really like frames the entire look and I again I really fake this one because as you can see my bangs are like not super wavy naturally and so I'm gonna go in add a little bit of texture with this and then I'm going to actually like I'll show you For some reason I always feel weird when my hair's like this and then my bangs are straight and so I like to make them curly what I do to kind of copy the rest of my hair is I take this really old <laughs> shitty straightener it's super thin it's like the only way i can think of that i can reach it i take half of my bangs like that separate them and i literally just curl them with this like that and i kind of have them go over to the side my bangs are really short right now so it might look different than it usually does but make them go to each side <laughs> Normally, when you guys see this, they're like more so down there. And I do like it because if you want to play around with a baby bang, this is a fun way to do that. If I just zoom in to my bangs, then you can't really like get the full picture. That's a little bit better. Today is the day, you guys. I think I'm going to finally make a sailor hat. If I only make one thing tonight, I want it to be that. Um, I found this pattern on Instagram. This angel who shared a pattern that they made, and I'm very, very excited to try it. So um, I am going to go. On. Oh, see, I've always wondered. I'm like, okay, Joann's, right? I always call it Joann's, but it used to be Joann Fabrics, from what I can remember. Now, Joann, etc. Do you remember this as well? They had to have changed their name because I, I know growing up was Michaels and Joanne Fabrics right anyway uh, I digress I want to go in I just want to take my time I have the evening to myself tonight and this is my favorite thing to do and I'm just like I was I've been looking forward to this Jamie and I were supposed to podcast tonight um, then we decided to switch the day or whatever and I was like 
Sounds like a perfect, fresh opportunity. This is what I wanted to do with my night. I wanted to do this and then so, and uh, I have shows I wanna watch. And there's a Sephora right there too, damn. I should have brought, I have a Sephora gift card and I wanted to stop in there. Um, but I wanna find fabric for the hat. I want, really wanted to look for this one fabric, a, like toile fleece fabric to make like a jacket. And also looking for like specific colors. Like I want like a light pale yellow fabric. I don't know what I want to do with it, which not the best to buy fabric when you don't know what to do with it. But I feel like every time I want to or decide that I want to make something, I don't have the fabric for it. And then I don't, it's like too late or and I can't run out or whatever it is. And so I just want to have some stuff on hand because I've gotten through a lot of my fabric stash. So that's what we're gonna do. And a light blue and a cream ivory fabric too. Okay, looking in the fleece. Why do I love this fabric so much with the little puppy on it? I just feel like it's very like calming, cute. I like this, but I don't know what for. I like the look of it and it feels like really nice. I do think that for the um, hat, I want it to be like a solid, like easy color that I can wear a lot. So preferably like a cream, ivory or a light yellow. So I'm going off of. And I don't know if it should be like a silky satin or what. I don't think I've ever actually looked at this side of the button aisle. I always look at like those for some reason. I just turned. Look how pretty some of these are. Like that, Ugh. those big like ball ones I'm obsessed with. Then you go down to these like chrome looking ones. So good. Also, you can totally make your own juicy tracksuit. Here they even have like the details which is like the most genius thing ever, the knit ribbing, like I'm kind of living for that. Or velour yarn, like that color. Oh my God, I love that. Went in when it was light out, leaving when it's dark. That's kind of the goal. <laughs> I'm home now. And I got this Vietnamese coffee today at Target. I was like, I've never seen it there before. And I'm very, very stoked. We go to Sweetwaters, which has like a Vietnamese, um, coffee there. If you have a Sweetwater near you, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's only Michigan. I think it's like everywhere. Um, but they have the best coffee I've mentioned before, but, um, their coffee's so good and we get their dreamy cold brew. It's the best. I like Vietnamese lattes or coffee, um, because they're so strong normally. And so I think I'm going to put this over ice. Maybe you're on a tripod. I never vlog with a tripod, but I'm like, it might make life easier. So I'm doing that. This one's way sweeter. I'm used to them like being super, super um, harsh in like a good way, like super strong. This is strong, don't get me wrong. It's like a little bit sweeter. It's very good though, very good. I highly recommend. This one, there was an oat milk one. This is the cinnamon flavor, I think. Yeah, and um, again, they had an oat milk one and a different one that I can't remember, but it's 7 p.m. right now, so I should just take a couple sips of this. Anyway, let me show you my pattern that I have here. I just cut out two of these that I need to tape together really quickly. Um, for the brim. And then these are like the top hat parts. Very exciting stuff here. I also bought a new, I don't love using these. So I just got like this one to see because I figured doing small cuts would be easier with this. I need to remember that the seam allowance is not included in this pattern, which I'm so used to it being. And this is the fabric that I chose. They don't give you the receipt, but it had, it was like, it's like the satin, Satine or something. So the pattern is by Jordy Arthur Basin or Jordy Arthur underscore on Instagram, which obviously love the name. So I got these cutting boards to cut on for Christmas from my in-laws. I am like forever. I need to text her. Um, hey, can you, <laughs> you're so nosy. Thank you. You're like the nosiest human on earth, please. Together the top part. Let's see if it'll even fit my head. I did not even like, Think of that. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to my vlog. I'm getting ready to leave and run some errands. Um, I just was getting ready. And I don't, have I ever showed you one of my favorite, if I'm ever wearing like a deep lip, this Glossier, it's like their lipstick balm kind of color. It's in the shade Ember. And it is so pretty. If you want like a, you can kind of like control how vampy it is, but if you want like a vampire look, it's so pretty. Also, this this top was in my um, sell pile or like donate pile. And now I'm, I just put it on and I'm like, wait, this is kind of cute. And now I'm torn, you know, but I'm gonna put my perfume on. I'm doing a mix of ambery saffron and floral marshmallow from Dossier. I feel like they complement each other so well. Also, thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. I've been really liking playing around mixing different 
fragrances. That's like the fragrance lover in me. I'm like, ooh, what can I make? Um, so these really, really go nicely together because the notes are so different because in Embry Saffron, there's Saffron, Orange Blossom, Jasmine, Plum, Cedarwood, and then base notes are Oak Moss, Fir Balsam, and Amber. And then in Floral Marshmallow, there's Marshmallow, Neroli, Bergamot, Orange Blossom, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, Oris, Amber, Vanilla, Musk. And so they kind of just like, they're all in the same family, but different scents, you know what I mean? Floral Marshmallow one is one of my favorites right now. I feel like it's so warm and different and unique. It's inspired by the Killian's Love Don't Be Shy perfume. The Amber Saffron, which you guys know is like my long-term favorite, like one of my top, probably not my top two. I love this and the Amber Cherry. Um, but this Amber Saffron is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540, which this to me, I smelled some other ones that compared to this. And this is just my favorite version. I feel like it smells so so similar to it and it lasts all day as with all of my dossier perfumes if you have not yet heard me talk about dossier you don't know what it is they're a fragrance company and they create fragrances that are inspired by other like designer names like chanel again baccarat rouge killian chanel dior anything that you can kind of think of they also have their dossier originals which i love their dossier originals which are just their own scents that they come out with all their fragrances are created by their perfumers in grasse france which is the perfume capital of the world so you know you're getting the good stuff i will stay in my dossier's quality until the day i die it stays on me i smell it literally all throughout the day even when i'm going to sleep i still smell it on me until i take a shower the next day yeah if you want to try them out i will put my code here and down below in the description box as well as the link um and let me know if you have tried dossier what is your your personal favorite dossier fragrance by them I would love to know so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this part of the vlog and now I wanted to show you the reason we're like in this room specifically is because this hat was in this room and this is the one that I made with you guys well no that was a different one that I made this one the next day because that was like my prototype well, it wasn't supposed to be, but it turned out being that. And so I didn't want to leave you hanging. I wanted to show you the final product in case you wanted to use the same um, instruction or like the reel that I went off of. I love it. I There are a few changes I made just because I made the like actual hat bigger because I have a bigger head. And so I had to make like the rect or triangle parts a little bit wider and longer. Um, and then I kind of just kept tailoring it from there. But I think it turned out cute. Watch my latest styling video. I wore it in that and I think it shows it off a little bit better, but um, just because my hair was done, but I love it. I highly recommend it. I'm going to be making them in different colors. I think what I want to do is make a really stiff one, maybe in like a blue. I think that would be kind of cute. There it is, the finished final product officially. Lines could be better too, but I'm impressed actually for the first time I've ever made a hat like this. I don't think that's her... I finally am picking up the camera for the day. I like prepped a few things for uh, food this week. Also today is the Super Bowl. So maybe I should show you my Super Bowl outfit. I'm going to my mom's. Don't really care about the Super Bowl. I, we were going to if the Lions were going to be in it, but um, they're not. And so today my mom is doing a Super Bowl party. Um, I think she just felt like throwing a party. Well, they like, they like football. My parents like football a little bit. I don't, but let's see. I don't know if you can see the outfit, but I'm wearing tights, my um, Wales Bonner sneakers, plaid skirt, um, this thrifted Adidas, no, thrifted Fadidas, faux Adidas jacket with the stripes just because, ouch, I just saw Taylor and Blake Lively walking into the stadium and Blake's in a, an identical jacket, but with the matching pants. Um, but I opted for a skirt because, I don't know, I feel like I, normally I would, I used to feel like I only wore sweatpants on my period. Now I feel like skirts and dresses are like the utmost comfort when it comes to that kind of dressing. So anyway. All right, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And so I wanted to put together a little basket for my sister to drop off. And these are some things that I just grabbed specifically for her. First off, she's been wanting a little dry brush. So I picked that up today. I took the packaging off because it was ugly. <laughs> so I thought it'd be cuter without it. Um, that, and then I grabbed her a copy of Little Women because I don't think she's ever read it. And that's one of our favorite, favorite movies collectively. And um, my, my helper now. Anyway, and then she loves Reese's. So of course I saw that today at Meyer, and I was like, okay, perfect. And then I made her a little scrunchie. My little lace scrunchies from that one video, black one, just because I thought it would be really cute on her. And then over here, these are some things that I'm kind of re-gifting in a way. Like I've read this and I want her to read this book. This is one of my favorites and I think she would love it. Plus it's pink for Valentine's Day. This is a dossier fragrance, which I've had for a while, and I kept thinking that she would really love it, and so I'm like, I was gonna give it to her anyways, so I might as well just stick it in here. And then same with this. I've had this for so long, and I knew she, I was just gonna give it to her anyway, and so I'm just gonna add it in here. Oh, and then this as well. These I picked up for her. I have the same one. I just knew she would like them, so I grabbed a second pair, and they're little bows. Aren't they so freaking cute? So I'm gonna put it all in here. I have to get you out of there, and 
If you can hear any noise, it's because he's licking an empty bowl because he just ate and it's never enough for him. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Come here. Well, let's find a different spot for you. You want to help me, Cash? No, Cash. Here, you stay back, okay? No, we got to wait. I'm putting stuff in here. Okay, actually, I'll tuck the little things. Oh, see, he's really helping me, aren't you? All right, now let's put this back in there. Maybe like that. Maybe I could put this on this. All right, there's the finished product. I think it looks cute and she'll love it and appreciate it. And I am her Valentine's Day this year. Valentine's Day, but I'm her Valentine this year. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm making coffee right now. I wanted to, well, actually I'm making um, pre-made iced coffee in this thing. I wanted to show you guys because I started, I was buying the coffee like tubs at the store or whatever, like the gallons, I don't know what you call it. Um, and then I was like, wait, I can just make this at home and just see how it tastes. I've had this for years since we lived at our um, old place and I'm like, I got it like five years ago. And there's a filter up here and then you just put the coffee in it with water and then you literally just press this and it filters down into the bottom part. Wait right here, I took the thing off and now it's going fast. <laughs> this is how fast it normally goes. I was like, why is it going so slow? Oh my. What? Huh? Okay, then you take the thing off like that. And there's coffee in it. Yay! They look really pretty in this kitchen right now, don't they? Hello, hi, it's, actually it's 11. It's Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I, I do like Valentine's Day. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I like sending flowers to everyone, making people things, so it is fun. Um, I'm making another coffee, it's like, like I said, 11. I've been working all morning, and so I'm finally gonna take a little break to drink some coffee, maybe eat some breakfast. Too hot coffee today, and then I'm gonna make a matcha later. I'm like already planning it out. This yesterday at Walmart, and I was so excited that it was there because I wanted like a good, cause I, I drink the just like basic black coffees in the morning normally now, and I do like something with a little flavor once in a while. So this is the medium roast Chamberlain coffee fluffy lamb vanilla blend. blend. It's like not too sweet, which I like because I tried, I tried this one. It was like butter pancakes or something. And it was just like the black coffee version. And I was like, it doesn't, it, it's too much. I like my black coffee still harsh, but like just a little hint of something. And this is the, and it's just so cute. So I just leave it out on top of my coffee machine. I actually want to order a new coffee machine. Let me show you the one I have right now. I just have like the normal Mr. Coffee one. Serves us great. But I did see this one on MoMA shop or something um mama design and it was a bodum one and it's like colorful and cute and it's like just an, again a normal basic coffee maker and so i'm waiting for that to come back in stock i didn't order it when i had the chance so uh what do i want for breakfast maybe i'll show you the thing i posted it on instagram and jacqueline hill introduced me to it through tiktok um and i like a random assortment of stuff and so you don't want me to shut up and show you that are you literally crooked right now? Small curd cottage cheese. You can do big curd. Honestly, this, I just grabbed this brand because that's all they had. And it is a not, I wouldn't consider this small curd, would you? I would say this is medium curd. Two hard boiled eggs. We're just going to chop those up however you want. I've always wanted a cooking show, like um, Barefoot Contessa, that was my favorite growing up when I skipped school. Add those on top. I should probably bring you in a little closer so you can really see what's going on here. Huh? There's that. Then I take the liberty of adding just a little bit of mustard. Again, stick with me. I know it sounds weird. I like to go in with chili garlic sauce. Chopped up green onion on top. Add a little bit of crunch and i like to put a little bit of sesame seeds on top just again kind of for crunch but also it makes it kind of cuter how appetizing does this look on a scale of one to ten i think it is one of the greatest things invented because i i don't know if there's a name for this i don't know if jack came up. I, 
I don't know where this originated. I don't know. And if you're looking for extra protein with your like eggs or just like with your breakfast in general, I've been liking this lately. And um, bite so you know I actually eat it. Before this, before I added the cottage cheese, I basically ate this exact same thing just with no cottage cheese, but with mayo and mustard. And instead of the mayo, I put the cottage cheese again. Extra protein and also just extra texture. I kept getting like the cuties at Kroger. And then I went to Walmart and they had these sweet and seedless mandarins, easy peel. And when they say easy peel, they mean easy peel. They're actually easy to peel. Just saying. I have a couple of things that I ordered. You guys know if I'm vlogging, I have to show you my haul. I ordered a protein powder from Ritual because I'm like very obsessed with Ritual right now. Um, and I've heard so many good things. Someone actually I follow, uh, like a food person that I follow on TikTok uses the Ritual Essential Protein Daily Shake. And it's a plant-based uh, protein powder. And I've just been needing a new one. I've been using that, what is that one brand? It's a uh, Life, I can't think of the brand, but it's like a little bit chalkier, which I actually like the taste of a chalkier protein powder, but I am looking for something like a little bit more, like one that just goes into like recipes better, you know, like that one you can taste so purely. And um, so this came with a lot, but I'm very excited. Cashew, I don't know what this is. So let's see. Ooh, okay, wait, how did that happen? From Lancome. What a nice surprise on Valentine's Day too. It's the Lancome, it's the Lancome, I'm just gonna say Lancome. Lancome Mary Phillips, a collaboration. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy freaking crap, that's a lot of stuff. Yay, you think you, Lancome. I love their juicy tubes. I'm gonna use all of these tonight. Hey, what are you doing? Pay attention to the unboxing. <gasps> Ultra wear all over concealer. Oh my God, I've been wanting to try this. I am so excited in bisque, okay? And then their mascara, which I do love their mascara. Oh, and hair and glow sunscreen. Oh my God, this is going to be so exciting. Like I just said, I'm going to use all of this tonight um, because we are going to downtown um, Detroit for, what is it called? It's like an orchestra. Um, it's the Candlelight Orchestra. Valentine's Day edition thing. Um, Aqua Gel Defense Sunscreen. Let me try some of this. Um, but yeah, so they're doing like a little like Valentine's Day show. If you guys have a candlelight orchestra near you, I know they're in a lot of places, but um, I we've gone to the Taylor Swift one. I think I've gone like three times now, maybe four, uh, three, three, I don't know, to the Taylor Swift one. And they have other ones, they have Adele, Beyonce. They have just like normal ones like tonight, they're doing Valentine's Day where it's just like a mashup of a bunch of different things I would assume. I don't know, we haven't been there, but very exciting little unboxing. See, this is why, why only roses in our house, for those of you who don't. I know, I know a lot of people do, like cat owners know, but we strictly only get roses because the cats. Um, I know there are other things too that cats can have, but the cat, these are like, I think I've heard the safest. These and sunflowers and like some sort of other thing, but I like the looks of, out of all of the cat safe flowers, I like the look of a rose better like than all the rest. So anyway, um, we just got back, we took the dogs on a walk and um, what now? I'm vlogging here right now. I brought in my like vlog camera, vlog camera, my, like my old OG one. And we just got into the Masonic Temple. Like I mentioned earlier, we were going to an orchestra thing and it's the Valentine's Day one and we've never been on the balcony right here. We have like our own little table here and this is what it looks like and then you pan over and this is the view this is exactly how it was set up for like the Taylor Swift one as well um, let me turn this up so you can see it kind of more so that way and then that is there's Jared getting us <laughs> getting his drinks um, and yeah it's just set up so perfectly there are people taking pictures down there if you can see that with like little ring light things but um, just in general, it's just so cute. It's fun to like get to dress up and go somewhere, you know? And like I mentioned, we were, we've were we never been up here. We've always been down here. People are slow dancing. It's very cute. It's like a very cute moment, so. Beautiful. Right Where? Like oh, cute. Pretty. I even like their like, <laughs> uh, what are those called? The wall vent thing? The wall vents, yeah. yeah. Just old and simple. Yeah. It's just, it's like the prettiest building.
walk for the day. Um, and it is 41. It's really sunny out today, which honestly, I'm more concerned anymore about the sun over the temperature. So, um, very excited. He's excited. That's, he starts yawning when he gets so excited that he gets stressed out. So, and he starts. We're out here walking. It's literally, I thought it was going to be actually cold in this outfit, but I'm not thankfully. Um, but I was just listening to Deeper Well by Casey Musgraves and it really had me thinking because I watched the, the music video. It's so so stunning it's in iceland and everything it was like so inspiring to me one of my goals this year is to like watch more things and um so i don't know if that includes music videos i'm pretty good about that but also like as corny and dramatic as it is but i'm trying to like figure out how things are making me feel and how it I feel inspired by them and that was one that like left me feeling inspired in many ways but i loved her outfits and just like the whole sentiment of the song i guess because she also <laughs> i'm such a sucker if someone mentions like what age i am in a song it automatically resonates with me like so she says that she her saturn has returned she, as soon as she turned 27 everything changed and i turned 27 in may and so i just <laughs> was like okay wait kind of love that perfect timing um but the outfits in there amazing i've been talking a lot about like how doan's ads make me feel and that resonates still with that as well because like i just want to feel free again dramatic but so true i want to feel like i'm running through a field in a long frilly skirt and dress now i'll finish listening to the song also the way ryan Beatty's latest album makes me feel walk i just got in my warby parker frames I sh if you follow me on instagram you saw i visited they have a new birmingham store and i was so excited i got to work with them on instagram which is like a dream but um i ordered these glasses when i was there they're sunglasses they're the gladys frames and i'm like i'm almost mad at myself for getting them in sunglasses because i'm like as regular glasses they would have been like i i'm like tempted to buy them <laughs> also in the clear because I really like these as a sunglass but now I don't know what do you think should I keep them as this should I, should I I do like them as this maybe I should just go on I buy direct and find because I did want another pair of like prescription like clear glasses but these are prescription sunglasses if you have not tried prescription sunglasses highly 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 recommend but I wanted to show you guys these I told you I would um they feel so nice and they're so fun let me take my hat off turn my hair was normal what do we think? I don't know. It just started randomly snowing outside. I just got back from the dentist. If you can't tell, this is all swollen, or not swollen, um, uh, numb. And I'm just like, I feel so defeated right now. I'm all over the place because first of all, they numbed me up and I swear that stuff makes me like shaky. I like start shaking, like it makes me kind of like, also like weird in my head. Anyway, um, it's randomly, like I mentioned, snowing outside. The roads are so crappy and my sister, doesn't have four wheel drive. <laughs> this is a story. My sister and I um, went and we were looking for her car. Like when she got her car, she went and got it two years ago. And um, we, it was just her and I going and doing this. And we could have swore like she, I blame myself because I'm older and I like was there to help her. And I didn't realize that I didn't have four wheel drive. And here you kind of need it. Like when you live in a Michigan and stuff like that. Um, and she gets it, whatever we thought that she had it. And it turns out she doesn't. So this year she's really been struggling because it's been so snowy. And um, I feel so bad. So I'm like, I'm going to just go pick her up from school today. She's um, on campus until like, uh, I think another hour. And so I'm like, maybe I'll just go pick her up because obviously I have four wheel drive. And I don't want her driving in this. It was crazy when I was driving home. It's like I went into the dentist. It was kind of like flurrying, which I didn't even know what it was supposed to do. And then I got out or I came out and it was like full snow. When I was driving home, it was like you couldn't see in front of you, which I mean, I'll take. But I don't like it when people <laughs> have to drive in it. I'm like the freak that's like texting everyone. I'm like, be careful. Or I'm sending the pictures of people's cars flipped on the highway to scare the shit out of them into driving safe. I talk about this on the podcast, which I have to edit that today, too. So that's my goal. Um, I kind of, I worked this morning from 7 to 10, and then now um, I'm going to work again in like another shift, and then I'm going to edit the podcast after I uh, pick Jamie up, because I think I'm going to have to, unless the roads just magically clear up in a second. Um, 
And I didn't eat before I went either, and now I don't want to eat, like, because, okay, also I have to go pick up an antibiotic because it's infected, like the root canal thing. I'm just like, how does that happen? I almost feel like I did it. Hello. Okay, so we are on our way to a downtown, and I have always wanted, to, first of all, they have a store that sells Sunny Angels, and I, um, it's like the only store that I think exists in Michigan. I don't know. Let me know if, <laughs> if there is one in Michigan that you know of. Also, I'm like swollen right here, and just ignore that. Um, I made my doctor's appointment that I was telling you guys about yesterday. I made it, um, it's the 28th, so I have to wait. Anyway, um, going down there, and also there's a knitting store. It's like a yarn store knit crochet everything and I've never been in it I, we've always passed by it and I'm like I've also been like where is there like a small brand a small store small business that sells yarn and stuff and I'm very excited I went on the, the reviews are great raving reviews honestly so um I thought to bring you guys along and I forgot my camera so we're on my iPhone for a lot of this vlog but you know what it's fine it's cool um and I'm excited it's really cold out today it's like 30 right so colder than it has been Chilly. still kind of warm for February though so can't really complain but nonetheless what was that I'm wearing overalls today all the way out there oh um, but anyway overalls white t-shirt this outfit of the day by the way um this I was like should this go here or here but I'm leaving it here it's just my hair clip give us a spin give what? us a spin <laughs> Perfect <Tomorrow>. for <laughs> Okay. Ever? I used to live here growing up. Actually, his whole life. Unique Knits, this is what it's called. And it's like down below. Look at my haul. I'm so excited. I'll show you everything at home, but I'll do a sneak peek. <gasps> For my keychain. I just think it's so freaking cute. I'm excited. Both of us. I picked one. You picked this. Um, the Charlie FCX. This album is so good. She's actually like, t wait, didn't she just put out a new song? Anyway, and then of course, I've been talking nonstop about this album because it's literally this, it's been the only thing I've been listening to. Um, Tate McRae. Retro graphic here. Looking absolutely. Um, one coming. Yeah, okay. With my haul from today. Okay, so. We went in to, oh my god, why have we, do we never know the name of this store? Are an authorized seller of Sunny Angels. And like I've mentioned before, I don't know of any other ones. And if you do, please share the wealth. But, I mean, I bet you, you Sunny Angels. You have to make Angels, your predictions before you I, open that. I will, I'm just getting the classic off. I think that Sunny Angels, though, um, the, the Sunny Angels fandom probably doesn't want you to know where to buy them, right? Like, that's why it's probably not so widespread. Yeah, they're gatekeeping Maybe. from us. Okay, so, my birthday is not for another three months, but I've been wanting one of these happy birthday ones because honestly, I mean, I'm not going to get the whole set for my birthday. So if I can just lead one, lead, keep getting them up to my birthday and then on my birthday, get the last one, that's probably a smart idea um, because I am part of their club online. So, oh, it doesn't say I want it to be, I think there's a pink one, a pink birthday bear. Okay. So I would really, 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 really love the blue bear. Just quick. Oh, it's the green bear holding a present, which I actually love as well. <laughs> From um, the knitting store, or the yarn store, I grabbed two balls of yarn. I am very excited. This is called Deep Velvet. This is Lemonade. And these are some colors that I'm really liking right now. This is um, a 100% certified organic cotton. 
and um, it'll be perfect. I think I want to try to make some sort of like bonnet out of it. Um, and then this, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but I loved this color and it's 100% fine Highland wool. And so if you're looking for like natural fibers, this place is the place to go. Rex, he's going crazy right now. Hey, come here. What are you doing? See, he's gonna think this is for him, but this is not. So cute, it's gonna go on my keys. I lose my keys constantly, and I just have like one key, like the car key on it. And so I'm thinking this would be really, really cute to have on it. And lastly, I grabbed these bang clips, which I have been wanting for so long. Um, and so I am so excited. I'm just so excited. same project I'm trying to make a triangle bandana kind of scarf thing and the pattern that I'm following I have to get down to the final eight and then I do like the um last part of it but let's see sorry I got it all tangled now but all right so I'm about to block this knit bandana thing. I'm just gonna fill it with coldish water, I guess. Not super warm, not super cold, but like cold. She made it in. Pulling the plug, literally. We'll see. This. Grab you. Okay. It's not blocking station here. I messed up at one part and I didn't realize it until like the end of the project. And I, again, I've told you guys, I strive for completion when I, sh like at this point in my, uh, cause I'm just now getting back into all of this, like knitting and stuff. And so I'm like, I just want to like, I feel like if I don't, if I keep like making it miserable, <laughs> some people probably actually like, like my sister likes going back and like making things perfect. And I actually, I need to show you guys, my sister made me the sweetest thing she gave me last night. I went to um, their house, my mom's house, um, and <laughs> where she resides. And I got to watch The Bachelor with them, which was very exciting because I normally just watch it on a random Monday or I mean a random morning of the week. So we did that and then she gave me um, a hat that she knit me, or no, she crocheted it. She knows how to crochet. All right, here, let me show you the hat. Isn't it so cute, Felix? Do you smell Jamie? Oh, look at Jamie. Jamie's probably watching this. He gets so excited even with the scent of Jamie. Both of them do. Yes, hi, mister. Hi. Oh, hello. It's warm outside today like 60 it's supposed to like storm i guess i kept seeing like alerts alert severe weather warning and i was like oh no like i don't trust it but at the same time i do get kind of scared i don't know why ever since owning a home <laughs> and owning animals i don't know why i get so scared of severe weather um Maybe it's just as I get older, I get scared of a lot of things. Anyway, and also, I'm out on our porch, and this spring, summer, I want to... Can you hear that? Before summer, how about that? Before summer, I want to redo this porch. Like, I'm put, going to do something on the ceiling, some sort of wood. I need to restain the deck part of it. Um, I want new furniture, so let me know if you'd like to see that in a vlog. Also, I asked you guys if you had any specific questions on the pets, because I haven't done, I had got, I got a few requests for like a dog or puppy update, um, especially for Felix, because I know how, that's how a lot of you guys found me was from my Felix video, which I don't even wanna think about how long ago that was. Come here, Felix, do you wanna be in my video? Yeah, do you? People wanna know about you, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, wait, can you sit down? Good boy. Okay, so first question being best and worst things about both breeds. So if you guys don't know, this is Rex. Um, he is a Newfoundland and he's our youngest, youngest in general, but especially doggy youngest. Um, he's a baby, even though he's bigger than Felix. Felix is back there and um, he's a Bernese mountain dog. And um, 
I can't even think of any like specific cons other than like Felix is allergic to chicken, which I know a lot of dogs in general are, but I think especially Bernese Mountain Dogs are really prone to being um, allergic to chicken and just having like sensitive skin and allergies and stuff. So I would say like that just because like their chicken is in everything as far as like dog stuff goes. No, I can't tell the difference because like they're so similar in so many ways. Rex is just like ready to protect always and i think that's like a newfoundland thing i'm not sure felix is again he's a pulling breed so he's you know naturally pulls and if i'm comparing the two walking wise felix is a worse walker because he likes to pull and he pulls hard hard he is so trainable like he's so easy to train as a pup from a puppy he was like a perfect angel puppy just because like he just listened he wants to please you rex could not give a shit about pleasing you like that i think is the main difference i would note i don't know i came in because i think it was like a little bit too windy out there but how to give them attention or mental stimulation on busy days so first of all i try to plan ahead to try to like make sure that i get their walk in if it's like if i know the next day is going to be busy or whatever i try to like uh move things around and like if i have to get up early or whatever otherwise like the actual things that I do for mental stimulation and things like that we have gone through so many different things trying to find good ones especially for big dogs those of you who have like giant breed dogs or just like large dogs in general hopefully can relate to like how little there is on the market which you, it's crazy because of how many big dogs there are but I feel like a lot of the things just are not like which I guess it makes sense but there's just like a lot of things are not set up to be strong enough for them or big enough or whatever and like mine just tear through a lot of things anyway um but we really love play mats and like snuffle mats i will link some of my favorite ones that i've ever found i've found really cute ones like we have this hold on let me actually get it this one was one of their christmas presents and it's a big pizza rex has demolished a couple of them um but i'm going to fix that um and anyway so this is it's just like little snuffle things and then you put like the treats under it and then you can also add them on it um and in throughout all of these things and then you you know set it up in a pizza and they find all of the little treats or we have these other snuffle playmat things and it's like they have little pockets in them you can make them my personal favorite as much money as i spend on all of those things i really like just taking a towel and hiding them in there and tying it up if you can find like a very thin towel um that seems to like keep them busiest the longest and they get really tired after that anyway i'm going to see a movie tonight actually in like an hour my mom and sister are picking me up and we're going to see wonka i still haven't seen it yet and it's like been out for months now Definitely months. I think it came out at the end of last year, so that'll be fun. I'm disgraced, cast out in the cold. Peter sells edamame. Yeah. I was like, I can't wait to sit. Uh uh. I just got back from the dentist, or the endodontics. I guess it's just a dentist. I have to get a root canal surgery thing next week. Wait, look how cute this turned out. My little shawl thing. I have to like weave in the ends still. <gasps> this is getting cute. And um, but I'm in here because I'm going to be going through my closet really quick. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of cute. This color is so good. I'll link the yarn that I used. It's 100% cotton. I think it's by Blue Skies or something. Um, I really liked it though. I really liked working with it, and it's just so soft even after I did that. So. This is adorable. I'm happy you were happy enough with it, you know? It stormed so crazy last night. Did it where you guys were? I know the Midwest was getting like a crazy thing last night, but I like did not sleep because I get so, I woke up in a panic because I like the, I felt like thunder and whatever, but then the house like shook. Like I like felt the house shake and we have so many windows that like, I like see vision. I don't know. I'm like, I just get so scared. And then I know all of our animals are so scared. Like Dottie, I tried to find her at like 2 a.m. last night, 12.30 and then two again. And then three, I just kept looking for her and I could not find her anywhere. And Jared was like, did you find Dottie? He was like asleep and then he woke up and I was like, no. And so then he went down and tried to find her and he did find her. He, she like ran out somewhere from the dining room, I think. But I just feel so bad for the like little babies. Um, the animals, the animals that are outside, I can't even think about it. I can't even think about it. But anyway, um, yeah, I did some, I haven't done any work yet today. I'm thinking I'm just taking the morning off and then I will start working in a little bit. Um, because I want to do this, clear my brain, clear my mind, and whatever. But I blocked this yesterday. I'm so happy with just how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. Especially tied like this. And as I wear it, I think it'll form to how I like 
want it to, but I'm gonna weave in the ends tonight, I think. Kind of a funny feel, like it gave me options on needle sizes that I could use, but I feel like I should have gone down one size so it was like knit a little bit tighter. Or maybe it's just my gauge is off. It's gonna be a long ass vlog. I asked you guys in one of my videos yesterday, um, or the other day, how long of, is a too long of a vlog, and you guys said there's no such thing, so I'm like using that to my advantage because I too like a long vlog. Like if I'm gonna watch a YouTube video, I do like them to be long, especially vlogs. Like I feel like I can just keep that on. You know what I also, sorry, while I'm here, <clears throat> you know what, okay. So I've mentioned before that I really like using this road glazing milk, right? I love this stuff, especially before makeup. Well, I've had the whole lineup for a while now, but I was too scared to use it because I had used it and then I thought it broke me out or like did something freak my skin out. But I don't think it was actually this because I was try at that time I was trying a bunch of different things. I tried it again because I noticed that they had gotten like an eczema seal approval or whatever on their products. Um, or I think it was on either the peptide glazing or the barrier restore, one of the two. And so I was like, okay. Now, I, for some reason, that gives me, like, like trusts it with my really sensitive skin. Um, or it makes me trust it a little bit more. And tr so I've been trying it. I've been using them, like, the whole situation, probably every day, especially every day that I do my makeup. And I am, like, loving it. I feel like my skin really actually looks good. Um, and I don't say that that often, but I do feel like it's, like, nourished, especially, like, for this time of year. My skin, I would not normally say that, but I'm very, like interested in it i'm almost out of these and then i have a backup right now um and then another update of something that i've been really liking lately is this lancome i think i opened up the pr package in this vlog weeks ago but in this vlog i this shade is like literally perfect for me it's the tint idol ultra wear karen glow karen the karen glow one i was this has been in my sephora cart for so long um i'm wearing 120n and well actually i'm not wearing it today but I have been wearing it and I really, really like it. This is like a really good like medium to full coverage. I, for like my natural days, I've been using the Patrick Ta, um, this one. I've ch talked about this shit so much. So I'm sorry, but I'm like almost out of it and I'm going to buy this shade again because this is like my perfect shade match and I think that's maybe also why I love it so much. But also, um, I want to get like a darker shade for in the summer because I really like this as a summer foundation because it's really lightweight But it covers what you need it to while still showing your skin through it. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'll stop babbling.